Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to your Reckon Accounts hosted webinar. My name is Charlotte, and I'll be hosting today's webinar. Today's session will run for approximately 45 minutes with time for questions at the end. Questions can be submitted at any time in the question box on the webinar's control panel. In this webinar, you'll learn the benefits, tips, and tricks of Reckon Accounts hosted. Our presenter today is Robin Rickett. Robin has been a Reckon accredited consultant since 2000 and used the Reckon product suite since 1992. She is a registered BAS agent and a member in practice with ICB and supports Reckon accounts, all versions, Reckon 1, Reckon point of sale, and payroll premiere. As a consultant, Robin specializes in installation and designing Reckon accounts to suit client specific requirements, problem solving, and troubleshooting, as well as the regular BAS agent activities. Without further ado, I'll now hand you over to Robin. Thanks, Charlotte. I welcome everybody to our presentation today. Just if you're uh, having trouble with audio, you may not be able to uh, hear me, um, or your sound check, you've got a sound check on your little um, panel that you can check there. And also, uh, if you've got any questions, throughout the time, just pop the questions into the box and we'll go through them at the end. The aim is to give you a good 15 minutes at the end if I don't talk too much, but we'll go through as many as we can. Any that we can't answer, we'll go offline and uh, get back to those people concerned with the questions. The panel, you can slide away. You've got a little arrow here, just to slide it away so you can see the full screen if you want to. If you happen to be on two monitors, then you can also uh, click and drag and drag the, the panel onto your second monitor so that it's out of the way altogether. So let's hop on to what we're doing today. And I'm going to take you through an introduction to Reckon Accounts Hosted. My name's Robin Rickett and I'm actually based in Western Australia. So we're gonna go through what is Reckon Accounts Hosted. Log in to Reckon Accounts Hosted, navigation of the Reckon website, file management, and a bit of best practice. So with the implementation of Reckon Accounts Hosted, Reckon's broken new ground by offering a Windows application in a seamless browser environment. So this allows the software to be truly cross-platform uh, so that you can use it both with Apple and Windows without the need to install third-party clients. You don't have to install the software onto your own computer. All you need to do is have access to a browser that's up to date and that you can uh, contact uh, this website that we log in through, um, through the internet. So the software you remote into is the same as the desktop software with all the benefits of the cloud environment. Updates and upgrades are handled by Reckon, so you immediately cut down on IT costs to maintain your software. Your data is stored in multiple data centres operated by Amazon Web Servers and is specifically held in Australia. Further information on data storage is on the Reckon website under the current policies. For our New Zealand clients, the New Zealand Inland Revenue Department has granted approval for their records also to be held in Australia. Reckon maintains disaster rec recovery backups and has made provision for you to back up your data file and easily bring a backup down to your own desktop. Collaboration is easy with your account and bookkeeper and you choose who you share your data file with. Reckon Accounts Hosted is a natural progression for those businesses who are currently using Reckon Accounts. You get the benefit of the cloud but you don't have to learn a new accounting package. You also get to retain all your valuable historical data because Reckon retains multiple years. So this natural progression results in no productivity loss for training. So for existing users of Reckon Accounts Desktop, it's an opportunity to migrate your file to the cloud with minimal disruption. We simply uplift your file to the cloud and in 10 to 15 minutes, your client's 15 to 20 years worth of data is fully accessible and you don't even need to learn new accounting software. So it's a really quick win for you. 
reckons heavily invested into Reckon accounts hosted and current users will have seen performance enhancements over the past few years. So con connectivity and Reckon accounts hosted. The application, as mentioned before, operates in an online environment using the Amazon Web, Web Service in Sydney. This means an internet connection must be present to use Reckon accounts hosted. Reckon have provided a solution so that hosted can be accessed offline if you want. And this allows businesses to continue to operate under such circumstances. So for example, uh, over here, NBN sort of starting to get implemented into some of the areas where uh, my clients are working. And some of them have been offline in that process for over a week. So for the hosted users, all we needed to do was get a, an installation license of the actual software itself, install it onto the computer, which the license is provided free and we can just download the installation because it's the same as the desktop software and um, just bring the data file down for that week so they could still trade. And then we uh, uploaded the data file and then they were able to continue trading online. So really a simple solution if, if need be. So on the screen that you can see there, there are five keys. So the first one, superior reporting. And if there's anything I would like to use the word love about Reckon is the reporting because it is so uh, easy to customise reporting with Reckon accounts. So our reporting module has been designed specifically with businesses like yours in mind. We make claim that our reporting module is superior because businesses and accounting firms of all size continually rave about our reporting selections, our customisations and your modifications. We take pride in our reports and this shows over and over. Reckon Accounts Hosted is now scalable up to 200 users in the one data file if needed. Although I would think uh, with 200 users, um, it'd be a pretty big business be, that using it, but we can use up to 200 at the one time if, if there is a need for that. The inventory, what about advanced inventory? The inventory module in Reckon Accounts is used by hundreds and thousands of users. And then with payroll, our payroll is integrated, which means that everything payroll related is kept in the same place as the rest of the business's financial information. But don't worry, unless you provide payroll access, like other sensitive financial information, this is kept away from your employees and other users of the data file. So when we go in and have a look at the software, I'll show you the granular security that allows that to happen. And then with the automated bank feeds, there is further enhancements happening with that. So keep your eye out. So accessing the software is easy to log into in any computer. And when you log in, you do it through what's called the Reckon Accounts landing page. So from the Reckon website um, is the easiest place to log into Reckon Accounts landing page. There's a link on there, but I'll show you how you can get straight to that landing page as well. Then um, they Reckon have allowed a remember me. So when you set Reckon Accounts hosted, you'll be given an ID number which is usually your Reckon Accounts customer number with an additional number added on the end and a quite secure password. So to make it easy for you to log on, Reckon allow you when you first log on to type a name in place of that ID number. Now the names are a user name list for all of the users. So obviously my name's Robin. Uh, I can't use the name Robin because there's someone else already out there who has put Robin in as the username. Also, once you're logged on, you can go and change the password to something a little simpler that suits you, but still satisfies the requirements of what Reckon have set as far as um, changing passwords is concerned. The other thing that you've got access to is Reckon's community and the community is open seven days a week, 24 hours a day. 
it's a great place to share and connect with other people looking to use or already using the Reckon software. You can get your questions answered, share your ideas and feedback and get your problems solved. Give back to helping by others. And the forum is moderated by Reckon staff Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. But you'll often find uh, Reckon professional partners, accredited partners and other users responding to your queries as well. So this is the logon page, the, what they call the landing page. And the first time, as I mentioned before, when you type your ID number in, you'll be given the opportunity then to type in an actual username. So you might put your company name or something like that in there. And then once you've gone through, typed in your password and logged on, that's where you'll hit the control panel and the control panel will allow you to uh, log on uh, with a different password. So what we're gonna do is just pop into Reckon Accounts. Now, this is the Reckon Accounts homepage and you'll see a login here and there's the link to Reckon Accounts hosted when you click on that, you'll be taken directly to this landing page here. Now, because this is my own work computer and no one else uses this computer, I've actually got it to remember me. So I've clicked on remember me and each time the username and the password comes up. That's great, except for the fact I had um, a client who contacted me after three years of going on to Reckon Accounts Hosted, her computer had been replaced and of course she'd done remember me and then couldn't remember what the username and password was. Luckily for my clients, I offer them the ability for me to save their passwords and she had taken me up on that and um, I was able to tell her what they were. Otherwise, it just is a matter of resetting, um, resetting the password um, and contacting Reckon to find out what her user was. So there's ways of, of getting around it, but um, yeah, just if you're going to use Remember Me, just remember if it's on a different computer then and other people have access to it, then they'll have access to this level uh, to be able to log in. So when we log in, username and password, click on login. And what that does is it takes us to the page where we're launching from as far as Reckon is concerned. Now in here, we've got two buttons and the bottom one, the control button, allows us to go into the control panel. And from here, depending on the level of access of the user that you buy, so there is always one admin uh, user, but if you buy more licenses of Reckon accounts hosted, you can choose for them just to be normal users and only have one that has the admin rights. So the admin rights allow you to come in and purchase more users. Um, you can go through and share your company file with other people who are Reckon Accounts users. And then you've also got the bit down the bottom here of the log off remote sessions. And if you've got a situation where the power has gone down and the connection or disconnection has happened locally, not in Sydney, Sydney still thinks you're logged on. So you can come in here to the log off and because I'm not logged on, you can see, I haven't actually gone through the log on process yet. Um, you can see there's no users there, but once I log in, then my user will be listed under the user session here. And if, if it has been disconnected and the Sydney computer still thinks that um, I'm logged on, I can physically log myself off. The other useful thing for that is, is if, um, you're in remote locations or different locations from other users and a user's gone home and left it on, you can simply come in and disconnect them um, so that you can go through and do your backup or do the, the work in single user mode that you need to. So coming back into here to launch Reckon Accounts, at the moment you can see there's just one green button here. But what happens when Reckon goes through an upgrade process and new tax tables come out and that, you'll see two buttons appear. And usually those buttons are there for four to six weeks, but Reckon will notify you when um, the second button is going to disappear. 
And what it does is it allows you to continue your work in the old file, get everything up to date, do your group certificates, and then hand over into the new file for um, the next uh, payroll year. As easy as clicking on the button, it will go through and upgrade your data file and then just need to notify any other users that they need to use the new button. So we've only got one button there. It's uh, the 2017 R2 version. R2 refers to the fact that it's already got the tax table patch on it. So we'll click on launch accounts and you can see it opens another tab. I'm using Chrome and Chrome is one of the recommended um, software, but it is recommended that you keep your software up to date as well. So don't um, be one of these people that are sort of frightened about doing upgrades because the software developers develop for the latest versions of the software. So if any new features come in and um, you haven't upgraded your web browser, you might find that some of those features don't work only because it's taking a advantage of what facilities are available in the new new version of the web browser. So always keep up to date. So Reckon by Nature um, opens up the file that was previously open. So I've got here the test file that I've just been into this morning and um, it comes up uh, username and password because I've already got um, other users on there. So all re always remembers the last file. Uh, because you buy Reckon accounts hosted by um, logon, you don't buy it by data file, you can have as many data files as you want and it's not going to cost you any more than what the, the login is as far as the pricing. So I'm just going to go into my test file here and you'll notice the screen looks very similar to what your desktop version of the software looks like. I've set this desktop to open up as the company snapshot each time, doesn't matter what I had to open on before and we'll, we'll have a talk about that in a minute. The one thing that you will notice is difference is this little floating toolbar that we've got here. And the floating toolbar has a little drop down section here in the orange. It's got a download file, an upload file and a clipboard. So the download and the upload allow me to uh, create a, an Excel report and then download it, bring it down to my desktop. It allows me to do a backup and download that. Um, it also allows me to upload things that I need to upload there, like maybe changing my logo image uh, on my invoices. I don't want to upload that, so I can just upload it. So it will take me to my directories and uh, uh, that takes me to the directories that I can see on, on the hosted environment. So you can see here, I've got a B drive and a Q drive. Now the B drive and Q drive are separate to each individual person that has a log on for Reckon account. So not into the data file. So we've got two logons, that first login, I went where I clicked and went to the green button. That login has its own Q and B drive. So if you've got people with different logins that are using a file consecutively at the same time, they have separate Q and B drives. And it's part of what they pay for with their license. Q drive is the working file. That's typically where your working file is and B is your backup file. So you back up into that folder and then you use your download to bring it back down onto your computer. So as I said, mentioned before earlier, Reckon have a disaster recovery, but it's not your own personal backup solution. So for your own backup solution, we would go through backup, save them into B drive and then just bring them down onto our computer for safekeeping. So if you're a user of Reckon Accounts desktop, then this looks just the same. It's the enterprise version of the software. So when you go hosted, you automatically get the enterprise version. And if you want it to look really, really very much like, in the web browsers, the shortcut for full screen is F11. So if I press that, I now get 
a screen that looks very much like my Reckon Accounts desktop, except for this little toolbar that, um, that I can move around and move out of the way. Um, depending on what browser you're using, sometimes you end up, if you take the cursor up the top, it pops around. But for this one with the Chrome, um, it won't do that. So all I need to do to, to move back to full screen mode is press the 11, F11 function key. So I'm just going to go back to the presentation for a second. So that was our login that we had. And once we logged in, we came to the launch software that went in. The other thing I want to talk to you briefly about is the community and just show you a look about it. So if you've got a curly question, and quite often with uh, businesses these days, some operate 24 seven, some operate evenings only, et cetera. Just when you're doing your record keeping, you might find that it's 10 o'clock at night and you've got a curly question. Well, unfortunately, most people are not gonna answer your phone at that time of night, but the community will. So you can hop on the community and um, pop your question in. And if someone's already asked it, then you get a list of, of questions that relate to it. And if they haven't, then you can actually post it as a question for people to answer back to. So going into the community, and we'll just pop back into here and I'll press F11, go back out of there and just go to our community page. So again, coming back to Reckon Account, sorry about the flicking around here. Um, if we go into support, uh, we should be able to get a link to the community here. And that will take you to this community page that I've already got open. So the community is uh, sorted into categories and you can use it um, as a guest to look around, but you also can register to go on to the community. It costs you nothing to do that, but then you can choose um, what conversations you want to follow. Um, and it might be that you only use Reckon Accounts Hosted, so you actually only follow the um, Accounts Hosted category. It might be that you get uh, the email sent to you, or you can just come on here and look for things when you actually need them. So it's divided into a whole uh, number of areas. We'll come back to the home and you can see on the right hand side, there's a welcome notice. There is uh, just some information on the recent uh, rollback we had with Reckon Accounts hosted and listing the categories the tweets there, and then um, some stats on it. So with the, there's the moderation there as well. So with questions there, um, they'll feature some questions, but then you've got your conversations. So how do you post onto it? Find or start a conversation. All you need to do is type into here and then press the little find button and it will bring back anything that relates to it. And then underneath that, it'll give you the opportunity to post it if you want to. We can look at everything and that's what that's showing at the moment, but you can also uh, ask questions, give some suggestions, um, put a problem forward that you're having, praise, articles and announcements. And as I said, during the um, time that that is normal uh, trading hours, there'll be a Reckon staff that is also moderating this as well. So that's a community and I'd recommend it as a point of call for uh, getting things answered and um, just discussing issues with other Reckon users as well. So back in to the presentation for a second. So just some things in Reckon Accounts uh, that just we're gonna go highlight. Uh, the control panel we've had a look at. Uh, there's a what's new section, how to videos, the speed tests and backup logs. So let's just flick back to 
my version of Chrome and back into the control panel here. There's a link here to how to videos, but at the end of the session, I'll also show you the training section as well, um, which you can go into to um, get some little short videos on doing certain things in Reckon Accounts Hosted. Down the bottom here is about the usernames and what I explained, there's a little video you can watch on that. Um, then there's a section on the printing and at the moment with the printing, I'll show you how it works. Um, there's a like a two-step process to go through with printing. That will change soon when, um, when they've done some work on a process that, that will actually stop that printing being the two-step process and, and go back to a normal click print and click the printer type process. Um, and then there's also a upload download little video there on how you can take your files up and, and bring your files back down as well. So the speed test that they talked about, um, Reckon Accounts uses obviously an internet connection and because it's connecting you to the software and the database, it needs to be able to push information across to you. And if your speed is quite low, then you might find that, um, yeah, you get a little bit of lag and things like that. So if you want to test um, what you're doing, you can actually test Reckon Accounts, um, test your speed so that, that we can discuss what Reckon Accounts will work like on your computer. And then the backup logs, um, we can have a look at that too. So this was the page where we launched. And remember I said about the two buttons, this is the message that you will receive or a message that you receive at the top. And this actually refers to the upgrading and um, the upgrade guide for you to have a look at before you go. So that's all there when you log in and it's got the new button, which is the one at the, once the new one comes in. So it's just a little bit of a visual uh, hint there too. So the videos that we were talking about long, so you don't have to sit through a whole webinar to find information you want. Um, there are being uh, developed all the time, little videos that you can go in and watch um, on how to do something as well. Now the internet speed, we use something called speedtest.net, but speedtest will allow you to see what your download and upload speed are. And this one's science that are using at less than five. So if you've got MBN and you're a lot faster than this, um, you know, you're very lucky. Some of my clients in the industrial areas over here in WA are pulling quite low speeds even now. So um, upload speed doesn't seem to be crucial and 0.89 uh, is quite adequate as far as that's concerned. So uh, just to go back, it's speedtest.net is a good one. You may know of others that you want to use as well, but that gives you a talking point to start off with to see whether Reckon Accounts Hosted is something that will be suitable for you to use on your internet speed. If you are already using Hosted um, and you are having problems with speed, it's always a good idea to chat to Reckon because there are some things that they can check out uh, if you talk to the technicians that are there. So file management. Reckon Accounts Hosted being a desktop software that is just hosted means that your file is your file and you're the one that um, has responsibility of that file. So in file management, Reckon allow you to do your own backups. They allow you to share your file and they allow you to restore and obviously copy your file. So your Reckon accounts data file can be shared with any existing Reckon hosted user that you give permission to through the control panel. And they do have to be an existing person with an ID number. You can't just send an email to someone and say, come use my file. 
when you log into Reckon Accounts Hosted, you'll have two mapped drives. First one will be your Q drive where your data file and any sharing links will be stored. And the sharing link is where you have more than one user sharing the file. Because of course your Q drive is personal to you. And if another user is using it at the same time, they don't have access to your Q drive. So they move it, it Reckon moves it into a shared folder so that those people who have permission and they're the only people that, that you grant permission to, um, can access the same file at the same time through that shared location. Each user will also have a B drive and this is where you can put your backup before bringing it down onto your own computer for extra security. And it's a practice which you have control over your own backup solution. The new floating toolbar allows you to upload and download your files. It's a very good video in the Reckon Accounts floating toolbar that you can have a look on how it operates. And then um, the little black bit that pops out, we'll just pop back into the software to show you that if you are using a tablet or something like that, this little black bit that pops out, it's got the escape key, the tab key and a disconnect on it. So quite often when a keyboard pops up, you don't have escape and keyboard on, um, on a tablet or um, iPad, etc. And if you don't, then you've got to, go to another window to do it. So they've just popped those two on there so that you can have a look at that. So hints and tips with best practice. Before I, we go into those, I just want to go through the process of um, backing up and restoring the file. So we'll just go back into our presentation and just in here, in the control panel to start off with, the admin user um, of the system, not of the data file, but of the logins to Reckon Accounts, um, can come in here and share the company file so they can share it with another user. And then they can also manage that shared folder access once it is um, shared. The copying of the files and the backing up. So to save or copy or backup, you would come in, choose backup or portable, go next. Options will give you the location where you can back it up and see it's gone to B drive. And the only access that I have because we don't use redirected printers or redirected um, locations is my Q drive and my B drive, which is in my little section of the server in Sydney. So automatically that's going to be, I've got the control over how many um, backups I do, whether it's a complete verification, no verification, um, and, and the choices that I've got on that. So I can set that to backup and just click finish and it will go through and do the backup. It's not a very big file, so it shouldn't take a long time in going through. Once that's backed up, I can then go to my little directory here and go to downloads. And in here, I can go to my B drive, go to my date modified and scroll up. And there's my test online file that I've just done now. And if I click on that, you can see down here in Chrome, uh, others you might see it up in the top right hand corner, but it's downloaded that and that's now sitting in my downloads directory for me to put where I want to. So it's quite easy. The uploading is the, the vice versa of that. Then you're gonna click up your uploading there, pick it up off your computer local and then upload it into um, either the B or typically what you see in Q Drive is an uploads directory and it will automatically go into there. So the other thing is copying files and that one's a little bit trickier. So you're gonna go file and go into open or restore, which effectively closes the file you've got open and puts you into opening another file. And then you find the file in here. And the issue that you've got is if you click on a file, and where are we here? A little bit further. And it's a link file. 
tests on non-file here. So I'm going to go through the link. But notice when I'm actually going to the file, it's got an underscore on it, which means a single click will actually action it, whereas normally a single click just highlights. So to highlight, we just right click on it and you can see that's now highlighted. And then to copy it, um, I would use the key commands on my keyboard. So control C to copy and control V to paste. And you can see there that it's made a third copy uh, of that file. So that's as easy as copying the file is. And then I can just click it to go back into, um, into where I want to. So let's go back to our hints and tips. And the first thing that I just want to revise with you is changing your password. So something that um, is a little bit easier that you can remember, and we did that through the control panel. Next thing is faster logons. And the Reckon Account software, as I said, starts up by default on whatever you had open before. So if you had a profit and loss open and another report and um, you know three or four different other things, the system goes through and reloads all of that with new data um, when you open your file up. So I had a client, new client that I took on that was complaining about Reckon Accounts being really, really slow and starting up. And I went out there and they had every single profit and loss I think that they'd ever opened was showing on the screen. But what they didn't have was this open windows list and they were in full screen mode. So they could only see the top one. So under our view menu, we have an open windows list and that's just a duplication of what appears here in the window. So as we open things up on here, you'll see they appear, but you can also see whatever else is open as well. And what had happened was when they went through this whole process, uh, go to this one actual year. As I said, it's only a dummy file, so there's not much in there at all. Um, and in fact, we could go all for the lifetime of the file and it wouldn't take that long to, to generate. Um, what had happened is this list over here developed its own scroll bar. So all as we went in and did was go to window close all. So that closed down everything we had open. And then we went into edit preferences desktop and was able to go through and set up the desktop and then tell it to save. And when I did that, for me, I set up the snapshot. So when I open up Reckon Accounts, it's going to come up with the company snapshot on it as well with the information that's relevant. You can set up how you want. And for some people, it suits better to have it left as it was when they closed down so they can continue work. So Reckon gives you the choice to do it. But if you want a faster login, then that's a way of um, setting up your desktop so you can actually have it open up quicker. In there, you've also got your one window and your multiple windows. Multiple windows, great if you want to put a couple of different reports um, side by side and look at them as well. So exiting Reckon account session, remember I said if the disconnection happens locally and Sydney still thinks it's um, connected to you, it's a good idea when you're in Reckon Accounts to always come and choose file and exit here. Because if you get the wrong button over here and accidentally close on this button, that closes the web, but doesn't close the software off. So it's always recommended you go file exit to exit out. I'm not going to, because I want to show you a couple of other things first. And then come to here and it will be back on the dashboard screen, if it hasn't logged out, then you go to settings and go to log out here. But the very important one is to go file and exit within Reckon. So you're not disconnecting the connection, you're closing down the software first before the connection is disconnected. 
Now, while I'm in here, before we go on and do anything else, I wanted to show you the security. So we're going to have a quick look at that. So under um, company users, user setup and roles, and because um, because we've got multiple users in here, we can assi assign multiple roles. So if you have a look, there's a user called Adam and Adam's got full access. Admin automatically has complete access anyway. Uh, Fred Bloggs has just got reception access. Uh, Jane Watson's got reception. Mary Smith's got accounts receivable and payable. Uh, Robin Rickett can do a bit more and the boss can look at it only, can't touch it, which is a really great role because the boss wants to see what's going on, but the boss may not be um, good with accounts and, and may not what, know what to change. So anyone that sort of you want to have an overview, but you don't want them to touch things, that's a good role as well. So most of the account uh, roles in here have been designed by Reckon, but you can see there's a few like the receptionist and, and that, they're ones that I've created myself. So if I go into um, new role, you can see each of the sections that I've got here. And for example, with centres, I've got customer centre, employee centre, supply centre. If I click on one of those, I've then got preferences that I can do here. And those preferences allow me to choose. So they may only be able to create entries in customer centre. They can't modify, they can't delete, they can't print and they can't view a balance we might let them view a balance as well. So we can very be very, very specific in what we do for each individual user. So that's creating a role. And if we go down and have a look at the reception role, uh, and if I go in and edit this one, you can see I've got banking only, and I've only allowed her access to the petty cash bank account and to no others and she can write a check and in the suppliers she can enter a bill um, and we should really give her the the option to pay a bill as well so we'll give her full access to that so she can write a check enter bills pay bills um, on the petty cash account only now a receptionist might just do that but then a receptionist may take on the role so if we go back to Jane Watson she may take on the role of accounts receivable and accounts payable when the person who's doing that Mary is on um, break so we can add those roles into um, here so that uh, she has access to it at the moment and now she'll have more permissions that we can then just take away from her at the end. So the security is really granular and it is quite precise in what we can and cannot, um, or what we can allow the user to do and what the user can't do. So um, really, really quite, um, quite excited about the way that that works. The other thing I want to show you um, is the audit company file, and I'll go through this quickly with you because we're getting close to time. Uh, there's four sections on it, company file information, the company file actions, you won't see because this is a hosted file, the backup date there, even if you do do a backup, but all other information you will see. Uh, the reconciliation summary, because it's a test file, you can see I haven't done any reconciliations, but this is great. There's nowhere that you can actually see all of the files that you would possibly reconcile and the last date that they were done. So that's actually quite a good tool just by itself to come in and look at that. Um, then the data auditor, which allows you to go through on this particular file for a date range and check these things. And when you do audit that, anything that's got a problem will come up with a question mark. And then you can click on a link which takes you to the list of information now it's a bit like the ling English language, it's meant to be broken. So there are certain things that even this um, may pick up as possibly incorrect and will alert you to go and check it. You go and check it and go, yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with that. That's good, I'm quite happy with it. So um, it's a great tool to be able to use as a little audit tool 
uh, on your file as well as everything else you do as far as checking, balancing and normal bookkeeping processes uh, that you would do. So the other thing, as I mentioned, the up-to-date browser, the Azure cache, so that quickly, is something that's quite important if you are experiencing issues with the logon, because remember you are logging on to another computer through a web browser, so the, it's utilising the features of the web browser to allow you to do that. So if something's not working properly, um, new feature not appearing, Control Shift Delete is the shortcut on most of the browsers to actually get to the screen to clear the browsing data. If if you can't, if that's not working for you, go through the menu um, on the browser to get it. Now this image has got the history, download, cookies and cached image and files uh, all selected. You could try just to start off with, with the cached image and files and clear them and see how that goes. Um, but what, what happens with the case images and files is it retains things that get loaded in quite frequently and just pulls them from your hard drive instead of pulling them from the internet all the time. And if something's been updated in that imagery or um, file and your computer's not allowing it because it's using cache, not allowing it to get it from the web, sometimes you do need to clear those um, images and files so that you can get it. So control shift delete on your browser is an easy one to get there to clear them out. So audit company file, we had a quick look through that. When did you last do the bank rec? Love that little feature about that, it's quite good. The log off remote sessions, just as I mentioned there, if your computer went out or the power went off, something happened, Sydney possibly still thinks you're logged on, you can go in through the control panel, manage my account and then log off um, through there and then you'll be able to log straight back on after you've done that. Browser up to date. We've got the browser or some of the browsers listed there. I'm sure there, there is others that I don't use. Uh, down slick. Uh, browser that's been released with Windows 10. Even if you're using a Windows uh, 10 machine, they all come with Internet Explorer, but just not the pictures. So you can just go into the Cortana and type in uh, Internet Explorer and, and it'll come up and then you can pin it if you want to. So uh, any of those browsers that will work with, reckon, um, recommend Chrome um, as the, the best one to work with, but um, I tend to have, not Safari, but most of the others installed on my computer. So if I go in and for some reason it's not working in one browser, I will swap to another browser just to, to see how it goes. What's important, depending on the browser you're using, is keeping it up to date. Internet, often you'll find offices these days use Wi-Fi and uh, you may be on the fringe of the Wi-Fi in your uh, uh, office, it may be worthwhile inst installing a Wi-Fi extender and you can get them from most of the computer shops. Um, and um, yeah, if you install that in, what that then does is magnifies your uh, Wi-Fi signal to then go that little bit further. So that's another thing you can do to increase the performance that you're uh, getting with your Reckon Accounts hosted. So some of the features of Reckon Accounts hosted, full enterprise functionality. And when we're talking enterprise functionality, the desktop version of Reckon Accounts that we use is Reckon Accounts Enterprise. So Reckon Desktop starts off um, and works through, you've got accounting and then plus and then premier and then enterprise. When you go to Reckon Accounts Hosted, you get the full enterprise version. It allows you to consolidate reports. So we're able to consolidate reports from different data files into one report. So that's really quite a handy feature that only enterprise does. The granular security, which we've had a look at, uh, the ability to use online or desktop if you need to. And if you do need to do that, um, for your first license of Reckon Accounts hosted, you're also given a um, login for the Reckon Accounts desktop um, installation key. So if you do require that, you can uh, ring up Reckon and request that. 
it's not given to you automatically, but it is included in that price if you do need to. So you've got the ability to work with it. And of course, collaboration, when you've got something out there, uh, in this case, in the hosted environment, you can work with other people in different locations. So I don't know whether um, you know too much about WA, but I had a client in Onslow, which is fairly fair way up the coast um, towards the top uh, of WA. And uh, he was down here, so he's about four suburbs away from me. Um, I was doing part of his bookkeeping functionality. He was doing part of his functionality and his mum in Onslow was doing part of it as well. And we worked in um, quite well together. So it's an example of Reckon Accounts Hosted where you don't have to be in the same location at all. It's a really good feature. So what's new, what's coming up? They're always working on load balance enhancements. So load balance enhancements allows you to just get the best experience. So it doesn't matter whether it is the end of June and everyone's trying to do pay slips and group certificates, sorry, IMB payment summaries um, and all of that. It doesn't matter whether it's two o'clock in the morning and, and there's only three people on or 3,000 people on or whatever, um, it gives you that same experience that, that you get. It's not like, oh, it's the end of the, the month and it's gonna be really slow. So they always, um, they have an automatic system that they're uh, always working with that as soon as the draw comes on the system, more computers come online. Um, or more banks come online. So you still get the best experience as far as that's concerned. Reckon introduced this year the Simpler Bass along um, in accordance with the ATO uh, and the Working Holiday Maker option as well. And then uh, there was an update to payment summaries, empty files and uh, format updates, FPT, State Payroll, Victoria and PAYG tax table updates, legislation changes, 1718 for New Zealand and updated GovConnect payment summaries. The big thing that's been worked on at the moment uh, with Reckon is the implementation of the single touch payroll, which for businesses with 20 or employees or over um, need to actually implement that on the 1st of July, 2018. And of course, for everyone else, we need to implement that on the 1st of July, 2019. So I reckon if you keep your uh, eyes out, information will come out about the uh, way that's going to work because of course the ATO has put it back on the software companies and said, we're not actually collecting any of this information, you must do it through your software. So the software companies are, are all developing so that they can then feed that information back into the ATO servers directly. So the partners, Reckon partner with a number of partners and that is only a handful that's on that screen there. Uh, they are developing each day. There are some that choose to be on the Reckon website. Uh, so you can actually go to the Reckon, Reckon website and look at the partner with us section. And some choose not to, they just develop for their, their current users. So if there's something that you want that you can't see that's on the, um, Reckon website, always contact one of your accredited partners or contact Reckon Direct, have a discuss, discussion with them if there is an add-on that you want to use with Reckon and they can um, take you to the, the best place as far as that's concerned. How do we connect with these partners? We connect with an API. So Reckon has an API which is for both the desktop and the uh, hosted version. And an API is an application programming interface, which is the building blocks that allow the systems or the other software to interconnect with the Reckon Accounts data uh, base and pass data to each other. So what does it mean for you? You can enhance even further a really good package like Reckon Accounts, um, say for uh, multi-location inventory. So Reckon's got really, really good inventory, but we don't do multi-location. So you can get an add-on um, software that will do that for you. Or you can have a uh, timesheet program that allows you to capture times for employees out in the road. Um, so there's a number of different ones there uh, on that particular list. 
So with Reckon Accounts, before you purchase Reckon Accounts, you can organise a trial and the trial costs you nothing to do except a little bit of your time to um, upload your, your actual data file so you can just feel what, it, what it's like out there on the cloud. So a call to Reckon Sales or your local uh, professional or, rec, rec, or accredited partner and they can organise a trial to be set up for you. Depending on your file size, it should only take 15 minutes or so to do. Uh, and then you can test it and experience it. If you purchase Reckon Accounts, uh, currently they've got a special on where you get an extra three months free for the first year. So you pay for 12 months and you get 15 months in that first year of use. And then, uh, as I mentioned, the 15 minute upgrade. So I'm gonna hand over, we've got just a short time left for any questions. So I'll hand back to Charlotte and if she's got any questions listed down or if you can think of any that you'd like to ask, pop them into your box now and uh, we'll answer those for you. Thanks so much, Robin. Uh, we haven't received any questions yet. I'm not sure if anyone would like to quickly submit something now uh, just before we finish the session. Uh, nothing's coming through, so I think we might end the session there. If anyone does have any questions, they can always email training at reckon.com and we'll arrange for someone to get back.